previously on Macro Monday. I have to contend with having to unbox the new Godox MF12 Twin Macro Flash and the trigger. Barely those instructions. Oh, that don't fit on very well onto the uh, the front of my lower. I can't do that. I'm tired of messing with it. Okay, my channels are not synced up. Come on. Jess has got you this flower. Oh, that's nice. Put you some water. No, it's from Macro one day. I don't do flowers. You do now. This episode of Macro Monday is sponsored by my Macro Background Textures. Perfect for creating colourful backgrounds in your macro photography. Check them out in the description below or go to stuartwood.com. So I have a yellow flower. It looks to be some sort of sunflower maybe. It's got a lot of characteristics of a sunflower that my daughter picked on the way home from school. I'm not a flower man. I do water drops. But we can't do water drops for the simple reason that the water drop is the subject of the photo. Whereas in Macro Monday, the aim is to get a social media worthy image of the subject, which means I have to photograph the actual flower. So the rules of Macro Monday are very simple. I have 10 minutes in which to set up the scene, set up the camera and get a social media worthy shot of said subject that has been picked for me. Again, this is some sort of, uh, I think it's like a mini, maybe a dwarf sunflower. I'm not too sure exactly what it is. So we'll set 10 minutes on the clock and let's get started. So for this particular one, I'm thinking of a, uh, maybe a bright scene or darker mood. We'll go for the bright scene first. So let's get my camera. And let's get the gear I'm going to need for this. We're not going to need any flashes. We're not going to need the Godox. What I will use, however, is my platypod. So we're going to need Lycra torches. We're going to need my small tripods, gooseneck arms, we'll need those. and we're going to need some backgrounds. So we'll have that background and I'll get my others over ready, just in case I want to swap that background. I'm getting an idea of what I want in my head while I'm doing all this. Also, we're going to need the tripod head from my tripod. All right, let's get going with setting this up. I don't need any of that. I'm in there. My batteries should be good for this episode because I recently charged them up. So I'm going to go for a dreamy type look, I think. So we'll keep the f-stop quite low. And to make things simple, I might just skip the whole arms and just go for holding the torches. Let's pop the, uh, the flare into our holder. Right, so. I've got to get the flare to the right height. And you know, you've got a choice in getting close or get right. I think I want one quarter of this flare. Maybe coming out the top frame. Bump up my ISO just simply so as I can see what's going on. Then turn down the aperture. There we go. Yeah, something like that. I've got a fascination at the moment with subjects coming out of the corners of the frames. So. That's why I'm going to go for this shot, I think. Okay, 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 okay. Go on, a bit higher. Come on, I can't get, I can't get where I want it. Yeah, something like maybe that. And then we could have a blue background. Maybe like that. And what I want to do is I want to overpower the video light if I can. If not, then I will have to turn the video light off. An extra tripod because this background card is an A. Uh, it's an A, A5 background card, so it's quite heavy. There we go. Let's see what we got there. Yeah, it's too high up. God. Sometimes the easiest shots are the hardest ones to get. Right, see if that's high enough. That gonna be high enough? Yeah, that's more than high enough. 
Okay, let's turn the Lyca torch on. Okay, and we're going to reduce the F, the uh, ISO, sorry. Bring that all the way down to 100. And you can see there I'm overpowering the video light now because it's quite, quite dark. So let's turn up Lyca torch to the max. Yep, that's going to work. Shit, I'll move the camera. That's one thing I don't like about desktop setups. Anyway, let's get this focused a little bit better. Dramatic lighting from the side, maybe. They like these Lyca torches. You can just place them on the desk, you know? So we're lighting up the background. We're lighting up the flower. Let's take, well, let's set up a two second timer. There we go. Got kind of a shock, but not too keen on it. Bring the stuff up to seven one. Bring my shutter speed down a little bit. And I'm gonna have to bring the ISO up as well. Maybe two hundred. Get another shot. And we got a shot, but I'm not keen on that. I'm gonna I'll tell you what I am gonna do. I'm going to bring that back a bit. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Get rid of that. Get rid of it. We're going to go dark and moody on this instead. Okay. I'm going to grab my spray bottle. Yeah, I don't want to put my there, do I? There we go. We're going to go dark and moody instead. Okay. Not quite that far away. I know what I want now in my head. I know exactly what I want. I've just got to get it. Oh no, my Lyca torch just gone flat. Shit. Okay, uh, we'll stick to this one. Something I noticed in the Lyca torches, they seem to go flat even though they're not powered on half the time. Right there. Tell you what, flowers are so hard sometimes because you've got to get something that's interesting. I need that other Lyca torch. It's not working. Okay, let's try that. Slightly underexposed, which I want. Not quite. Let me just turn that flower a little bit. I want the petrol to be kind of flat on to the plane of the camera. Focus it again. Okay, we've got one minute to go. I know what I want. Oh, my Lyca torch has just gone flat again. Bagger. Okay, we'll put that one there in the background. I just want to like backlight it slightly. Like that. I'll grab my torch. So I'm focusing on the, uh, the part of the flare where uh, the pollen is, and I'm going to let this charge up. Now, let me know when there's the 20 seconds left. I'm going to turn this on. 14, okay, let's get it going. Come on. Tit, stop the clock. Two seconds. <laughs> That's <was> close. Because <laughs> if you look here, yeah. um, it's that little red, little red uh, LED there. That's telling me the battery's flat. So when you have it on, this LED comes on and your torch turns off, which is why I had to leave it to the last second to make sure there was enough of a power in there to get the shot quickly. That was close. That was very close. Now, this is the shot out of camera, and that's not the shot I'm actually after. But allow me a couple of minutes to edit this in Lightroom to get this shot. Now, that is the shot I was after. A nice, dark and moody look on this flower. And I think that worked out quite well. I'm going to put these Lyca torches back on charge. Let me know if anyone's got these Lyca torches. Do they go flat just sitting in your bag? Because my Lyca torches are going flat very, very quickly. So there's a dark and moody mini type sunflower. I'm not too sure what this flower is. Let me know in the comments if you know. It's a dark and moody yellow flower shot.
Let's check out the scorecard for Macro Monday. It is now 4-2 to me. I'm edging out a little bit more after that disastrous episode last week. But will nature catch up on the next episode? You'll have to subscribe to find out. But well, that's it from this episode. My name's Stuart Wood. I'll see you on the next episode of Macro Monday. It's got sunflower characteristics on it, as well as one of my wife's hairs. So let's bang 10 minutes on the clock. No. Let me do the rules first, then we'll do it. Jess has got you this far. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Jess has got you this far. <laughs> Jess has got you this far. That's nice, nice putting some in the other camera. Hello. <laughs> you, you got it. Jess has bought you this flower. That's nice, but it's some water. No, it's from Macro one day. I don't do flowers. You do now. <laughs> Almost that bad! <laughs> Almost that bad! <laughs> Jess has bought you this flower. <laughs> Jess has bought you this flower. Just spat one in my face. Jess has got you this. <laughs> Forgot my life. Jess has got you this flower. That's nice, put it in some water. No, it's from Macro Monday. You know how the camera does. God's sake! <laughs> Jess has got you this flower.